Are you ready for another attraction spotlight? This week we're talking about Dumbo the Flying Elephant. This is episode 81. I'm Soraya. I'm Aurora. And together we're just your average Disney travelers. Welcome back to another episode. You know what? I um, Last week we did our episode. It was for Mother's Day. We talked about the Disney moms and we each gave our answers for what moms we thought fit whatever categories. Yeah. And we totally messed up on one. Oh no, wait, what, what did we do? We, we totally missed an obvious best cook. Wait, hold on. I need to think about this. I feel like you told me this. I did not tell you this. Okay, you didn't. Okay. At least I don't think I did. Wait, who is it? Well, my sister Debbie pointed it out. She texted me and she listened to it and she said, you guys totally missed the the best answer. Oh, wait. Who, Yetta? Yes. (laughs) Her cooking literally heals people. Maribel's mother. Yes. I don't know how we missed that last week. Okay, so... Last week, we're going to rewind to last week. The best cook is Mirabelle's mom. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. Now we're back to this week. (laughs) Anyways, so if you listened to that, you might have already, you might have thought about that yourselves. You might have been thinking, you girls don't even know what you're talking about. Nope. (laughs) We completely, both of us, and I'm surprised too because you had mentioned her, uh, her grandmother. It's true. I was thinking. It's like, so we had thought of the movie, but we didn't apply it for the cook. I don't know how we missed that. Anyhow. (laughs) All right. Let's hopefully not mess up too badly today. (laughs) No promises, though. Who knows? Yeah. Man. And now I have no confidence. (laughs) This just makes it more fun. That's true. We're, we're, that that gives us character. Yep. (laughs) Okay. So this week it's another attraction spotlight and we're talking about Dumbo. Yep. So this ride opened on August sixteenth of nineteen fifty five. And there's a reminder: we're talking um, the Disneyland. stats, yeah, Disneyland this primarily. Is all Disneyland yeah. stuff. So because it is, yeah, also, yeah. Um, um, it's located in Fantasyland in the Disneyland park. Um, the attraction type is um, aerial carousel style ride. Um, but it's pretty slow and it spins. Yeah, uh, it, it goes round and round. I don't know. It wouldn't say spinning like the teacups, of oh, yeah, course. No. But it's just going it's in a circle. Orbital. Or, yeah, orbital. Yeah. It goes around in circles. Yeah. Um, it's about one and a half minutes, and you can have two average-sized adults, or up to two average-sized a a sized, <laughs> sized adults in the, um, what would you call them? Elephants. elephants. Yeah. yeah, in the vehicle, the right vehicle. I was going to say car, but So then. you could get away with putting, like, two very small people with an adult. Like, if you yeah. have two little kids. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. You're going to get squished if, if anyone's getting big. Yeah. Um, there are no height restrictions, but children under seven years old must be accompanied. 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 Okay, yeah. Accompanied <laughs> by someone 14 or older. Yeah, so if you want to send your kids on this without you... Um, make sure at least somebody is 14 years old or older. Unless they're over 7. If they're all... Well, yeah, actually. If, if if they're over 7, they can go by themselves or together. But if there is anyone under 7, they have to be with someone over, that's 14 or older. Yeah. So. Um, and you must be able to transfer from a wheelchair or an ECV. Yep. Um, there's no lightning lanes. Not at Disneyland. Not at Disneyland, yeah. Yeah. Um, and the theme is based on... The 1941 film Dumbo. If, if you, you could couldn't guess. tell from the name of the ride, yes. All right, so soar high in the sky aboard the famous little pachyderm on a fanciful flight for all ages. As a jubilant music, or, or sorry, circus organ melody begins, Dumbo gracefully lifts off and begins to fly around a dancing water fountain. Feel the wind race across your face as faithful friend Timothy Mouse directs the action with help from his magic feather. Dumbo showed the world he could fly, because if you believe in yourself, anything is possible. And so, yeah, you can fly too when you Ooh. ride Jet Dumbo. Yeah. All 
right, so what are some fun facts about this one? There's some, some cool stuff. Yeah. So this is the only ride that can be found in all six Disney Castle Parks world, worldwide. Right. Um, the original design of this attraction had ride vehicles that were intended to not, wait, to represent not Dumbo, but instead the alcohol-induced <laughs> pink elephants scene from the film. But Walt didn't like the idea of a ride being based on hallucination, so he ordered them <laughs> to be painted gray. Yeah, you know, <laughs> for a family-friendly park, you're going to have these elephants that are all because they were totally <laughs> drunk. And <laughs> uh, yes, what's a drunk ride on the hallucination? So that was like the, it, the initial yeah. idea that was presented to Walt, and he's like, I like the elephants, but let's just stick with the gray. <laughs> yeah. So Dumbo is scheduled to open with Disneyland Park on July 17th, 1955, but due to flawed prototypes, it was delayed, and it opened one month after the park's grand opening. Um, part of this ride is even older than 1955. The band organ located under the circus tent behind Dumbo the Flying Elephant was built in 1915. Wow, that's old. Yeah. That's like, you know. Over 100 years old. Yeah. 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 That'd be an antique now. For sure. The original ride vehicles had ears that were supposed to flap up and down, but they hardly ever worked properly and they were almost always stationary. Eventually, as the vehicles were updated, the elephants were updated, they used molds that had the ears permanently spread out open for flying, and that's how we see them today. In 1957, while visiting Disneyland, the U.S. President Harry S. Truman, who was a Democrat, politely declined a ride on Dumbo. Do you know why? Because um, the, it's an elephant and that's a Republican symbol. Yeah, so he would not ride the ride because he didn't want to be affiliated in any way with the elephant ride that represented a Republican. It was just funny. Um, okay, as part of the Fantasyland remodel in 1983, Dumbo the Flying Elephant moved from the west side of Fantasyland to its current location. Um, because at the time, initially, we've talked, when, back when we talked about, I think it was Peter Pan's flight, um, that the the Skull Rock, that little restaurant, was where Dumbo is currently located. Ah, uh, yeah. And so they got rid of that, and then Dumbo moved over to um, to that spot. But, yeah. Um, the original ride had ten elephants, but in 1990, six more ride vehicles were added. So. Yeah, so there is a story behind that. Um, there is. Yeah, so I guess like a year or two before that change, they were having problems. Like there were some accidents where um, the arms that had the elephants kept breaking and people actually fell and got injured. Oh. And there were two accidents about a year apart. Um, and so they had to shut down the ride completely. Um, and they would have had to just recreate or replace. I don't know what they were. They they knew they needed to update that. Obviously, it wasn't reliable. And so they needed to fix it. They just so happened to be building, um, I think it was Disneyland Paris. But they had a, a ride ready to go there. And that ride had 16 elephants. And they it wasn't time to open yet there. And they had enough time to make another one in time to open so they just sent that one that was initially built and created, intended for, I think it was Paris, um, they put that in Disneyland. Huh. And it has the six extra. Um, and so then they just created another one, built another one in time for the opening there. Yeah. So that's why it increased. But that was great because it obviously increased ha the capacity, how many they could, how many people could ride it at once, which really helps yeah. with the lines. I, I mean, I know this is talking about Disneyland, but over at Disney World, then they've doubled that even because they have two going yep. over at Disney World since the new Fantasyland was built. But anyways, okay, sorry, getting back to <laughs> Disneyland. Um, there's one elephant from this ride in the collection of the Smithsonian um, National Museum of American History in Washington, D.C. It was donated in 2005 on the occasion of Disneyland's 50th anniversary. And I'm trying to remember because we went there a couple of years ago, and I don't remember if we saw it or not. Maybe we just didn't go into that specific museum. We might not have. We, I mean, there's so much at the Smithsonian. If we, even if we, I'm pretty sure we went to. I thought we went to American History, but now I'm pretty sure we did actually. I just I don't know if we hit every 
wing of it, you know, every yeah. room. So, anyways, yeah, that's cool. Um, all of the Dumbo attractions, ex- um, except at Walt Disney World, spin in a counterclockwise direction. Yeah, and that one used to, but when they moved it to New Fantasyland, um, when they created that part, which is now just all of Fantasyland, but when it reopened as New Fantasyland, um, they had the double, um, D- Dumbo rides I don't know how you call it the, they had oh, the two yeah, and, the, yeah, yeah. and that's when they changed the direction for that ride and I'm not really sure why they changed the direction um, I have no idea to be Simply honest to create a new fun fact maybe maybe I have no idea <laughs> so in, in 2018 the queue is expanded at Disneyland and now is covered with shade structures which does make it so much more enjoyable than it used to be it has more space, so the line doesn't start to um, bog up as much of the middle of fantasy land, land there. Um, and like I said, the shade, oh my goodness, that is so helpful. It's still hard, though. If you're used to Disney World coming to Disneyland, it's not super impressive because Disney World has such an incredible queue yeah. s- system for Dumbo over there. So it's nothing like that, but it is much better than it used to be. And... You know, it's funny how identical rides at different coasts um, have different um, levels of interest. You know, uh, I feel like the Dumbo at Disney World probably, I, I, don't, I don't know, but I feel like it would have, it had more demand um, than the Dumbo here. Although we do usually, I would say the lines for this are probably around half hour a lot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's interesting. But anyhow, yeah. So um, those are some fun facts. So you've got some tips. Originally, passengers were able to pick their Dumbo vehicle to ride in. Um, that used to be how it is. You could choose your favorite color because they all have different like caps and stuff, colored caps and things. Um, but with the update in 2018 where they expanded that queue and everything, the vehicles now are assigned. This does save time boarding, so it makes it a lot smoother. Um, the loading process goes a lot quicker because you're not waiting for people to pick which color. They just, um, you know, you're, you're told exactly where to go and you just get on and you go. So it does save a lot of time and shortens the wait time. Um, we haven't tried it yet, but I would suspect that um, if you asked the color, um, told the cast member what color you're hoping for, they would put you on the circle that would um, get you that color because they basically have like, a line of I think it was numbers or colors I can't remember what I think it's both yeah and you they tell you the cast member will tell you where which circle to stand on and then that correlates to the elephant that you're gonna yeah, go ride and then once you can go they'll kind of like open the gate and then you just find the circle and then get into the elephant yeah so the gate doesn't open yeah you stand out you're you're not inside with the ride when you're getting lined oh, up actually does do the elephants stay it like return to the exact same spot they started in to be honest i don't even remember because maybe it's just simply the number it might be a number which then wouldn't really help like wouldn't because then it's just a number if it's changing each time i then don't know you can't really ask for a certain color because you don't know what color i don't remember it. so it wouldn't hurt to try yeah if the line like if it's matching up with color then you can try if not, then not. Or if the, if the elephants are landing back in the same spot. Yeah. Yeah. But it would, like I said, it doesn't hurt to try. Yep. If it really matters what color you get, you can ask. Yep. You can almost, most of the things at Disneyland, when you're getting onto a ride, if you r- request, you know, front row, back row, middle, left side, right side, whatever, um, you can usually at least make the request. You might have to wait another rotation before you can get the spot you wanted. But you can usually make the request, and most times, I think they're pretty accommodating. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, passengers can maneuver their elephant up or down using a joystick. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty fun. Yep. Um, it, it does, especially, uh, it might get fun. Well, it, and I think that's pretty typical that you let your kids usually control yeah. that if you're in there with your kids so that could make I it like exciting <laughs> or boring i like to go up and then quickly down to try to get that drop sensation and do you really <laughs> yeah it worked on the aladdin one. Oh yeah yeah aladdin um is over at disney world but it's very similar it's basically the same type of ride just themed differently yeah but um yeah so but it's not 
And not every, like, version of, like, that style of ride will do it, interestingly enough. That's true. They all have, they, so they might not have the same. And then, I'm, like, the Aladdin one is as smooth, but yeah. this ain't about Aladdin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so along those same lines, in regards to that, if you have more than one child that's going to be riding this ride, it might be best to let them split up and go in separate vehicles if possible so that they each can control their own, their joystick so that you just don't have an, much fighting. <laughs> or yeah. maybe if you're going to ride it multiple times, one takes it one time and one does it the other time. You know, whatever works. But um, if they're old enough to be able to, you know, if you have the means to have them separated, um, give them each their own controller. That probably will help keep the peace. Yeah. Um, there's an extra Dumbo vehicle found just outside the attraction for better photo opportunities. Yeah, and that's um, something that we've seen a couple times because they have that over by the teacups too. They have a teacup right around the bend from the teacup ride um, that you you want can take a picture. And it, even though you can take a picture, like you can take a selfie when you're in the on the rides, but yeah. you're probably going to get a better actual photo if you do the still. Yeah. Just use the... That's what they're there for at least. And that also helps if there's anybody that doesn't want to go on um, maybe if your kids are afraid of heights or for whatever reason they're not going to ride on it, um, you could let them sit in it and they feel like they participated. Yeah. So. Um, Dumbo, the flying elephant, along with the other fantasy land attractions, closes during Disneyland fireworks. Yeah, so, so be prepared with that. Yeah. So if there's fireworks at night, be mindful that shortly before, usually about a half hour or so before... They start closing those down uh, because the fireworks are pretty close to that area. And yep. for safety reasons, that's just the way it is. Wait times for this attraction usually are lowest early in the morning or later in the evening. And if there have been fireworks and they had it closed, um, and a good time to ride it is right after it re reopens, you know. Um, another thing, another time to ride this one is after... Um, well, like I said, after fireworks or any time after that, because uh, usually in the evening or at night, once parents start taking their kids to back to the hotels for bed, um, yeah. all those attractions are um, a lot shorter lines. Now, I don't know if you've got kids that are riding it, then I mean, if you're letting them stay up, take advantage of that when the rest of the kids are having to go to bed or what. But anyways, yeah. yeah. So those are some tips. Now, do you have any good memories from this ride? Nope. Then, oh my gosh, we don't ever go on this ride. <laughs> well, we have been on it within the last few years. We, I know the, we went. The last time I rode it was at Disney World. You didn't ride it when the Heinz were here because we all stood in line and rode it. Oh, hmm. pretty sure. Okay, well, clearly I don't remember <laughs> it, so it's not going to help. <laughs> oh my goodness, um, I just from that. Right, I remember that trip. Um, standing in line it was a little bit of a long line um but i i remember just trying to get photos and your uncle tom and i kept trying to get the perfect photo of like with the with timothy mouse and then a, a dumbo f like starting to fly in where you just get the face without getting the people in it and anyways i i just remember spending most of my time trying to get the perfect photo and i honestly don't remember which one of us got the better one probably him i don't remember but um anyways yeah, yeah. Um, I rode that with Dad too. I think that might be the might be the only time I've ridden with Dad on that ride that I can remember was that that ride that that trip, which was what fall of was it two thousand eighteen I think. Um, so a few years ago now. Maybe. Yeah. When was I in seventh grade? Like, what year did I start seventh grade? Well, you would have been graduating from seventh grade three years ago so it would have been the fall yeah it would have been fall of 2018 yeah. so anyways um another favorite memory of mine actually does have to do with you it is over at disney world but it was your first time riding i figured you were gonna bring this up do you remember do you know what i'm gonna say no i don't remember it that's fine <laughs> do you, well i've said i've talked about it before oh, it was so funny this was your very first disney ride yeah and your sister took you on it yeah um, which is funny because she's old, she was only 12 at the time, but they let her take her you guys on it, even though you were five, so you were less than seven. Maybe, maybe they thought she was older. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Anyhow, you guys went on it, 
and um, you guys, you get off, and we were asking you if you liked it, and you said yes, and I asked Acadia, how was she? And oh. she's, and she was like, um, we need to talk to her about waiting in line. You were just <laughs> wanting to push past everyone. You did not want to wait in line. You didn't want to wait your turn. You just wanted to get on the ride. And, I mean, to be fair, that was your very, very first Disney ride. <laughs> Your first experience that having to wait. Favorite take, mem- well, one of your favorite memories. Just because it just was your personality, you know. <laughs> what was that supposed to mean? <laughs> you were learning, and so we had the talk. But I will be. I will say for the rest of the trip, you were really good about waiting in lines. That was just you. you it was your first experience. And that just, yeah. We do have a lot of video from that trip too. I, okay, I remember from the video, um, her saying that. I just didn't realize that's what you were going to yeah. bring up. <laughs> we have, I, I did a cute video um, of your first Dumbo ride. Really? Your flight. Oh, yeah, yeah with the uh, song. Yeah, maybe I'll post it on our thing, our, our Instagram and Facebook later it's this week. It's going in a circle. I know, but it's you on Dumbo. Now, this was over at Disney World, though, and at the time they were still finishing, um, they were still working on New Fantasyland, and in fact, the, that Dumbo was the Dumbo in the old spot at Disney World um, before it got moved and do- doubled, <laughs> multiplied. <laughs> and Mitosis. Yeah. <laughs> got cloned. <laughs> and um, so anyway, so I'll, I'll post it, um, but it doesn't look the way it looks now over at Disney World. Um, so, but anyhow, yeah, we'll share that with everyone because that was fun. That was sweet. It was your first time. But anyways, yeah. So Dumbo's fun. I like Dumbo. We don't ride it every time, obviously. Um, I don't think it's only for little kids. What do you think? Do you well, really only do you really only go if we're with somebody that's Yeah. So like when we go this summer, do you think cuz I think we'll go. We'll go and have So it's like it's not just like cuz like here like cuz you're just going in a circle and there's nothing else I mean you can go up and down, but then but you're so flying much. on an elephant, Aurora. Well, if you're going Guardians, you're <laughs> falling. Well, it's like skydiving. There's a time and not. place for but everything. Like, I know, but like, it's, it's not like like someone's stiff. Like, it's, Obviously, what? it's not a thrill ride. Yeah, but like, you know, like Small World, that one's actually in the AC, like, not in the sun <laughs> building. Some people like to be in the sun. I thought you'd like the sun. You like the I heat. don't like burning. <laughs> That's I good. like heat, not like fire <laughs> I, I I think that you're maybe exaggerating a little bit but um <laughs> so well I have to say I'm pretty sure we'll ride this with Sarsha this well, this yeah. summer yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah you're gonna have to just ride it <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with riding. yeah but um anyways I like this ride I think it's cute I think it's fun to be especially if you if it's your first time going to Disney it's fun um it's kind of it's a classic it's a classic, and it's simple, but it's sweet, and it's fun, and it's it's fun. I like it. Yeah. Uh, but we do not do it every time, and that's okay. It yes, makes it, it, is. it, it makes it special okay. when we do. <laughs> sure. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, if that's it, you don't have any other thoughts about this one? Any other ideas or tips or comments? Nope. Nope. That's it about <laughs> Dumbo. Poor Dumbo. It's just not getting the love from Aurora. <laughs> That's okay. It, I, I love Dumbo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All righty. Okay, well, thanks for ch- tuning in um, and chatting with us, or listening to us chat, I guess, about Dumbo. And tune in next week, and have a good week. See you.